Hello and welcome to another part of the tutorial. I'm drawing this male red cardinal on watercolour paper with coloured pencils. I've listed the materials used in the description so you'll find all the pencils and materials used down there. The line drawing if you don't want to draw your own cardinal you'll find the line drawing over on my Patreon site. I hope you enjoy this part of the tutorial and let's get started. I'm going to come into this beak, into this area with a little bit of this, um, this light flesh. This light flesh 10%. I'm going to come in underneath with a little bit of the burnt ochre 10%, including in there as well actually. And then back to this light flesh again. I'm just preserving a little highlight there and there's a little highlight in here actually which I will want to pop back in. I haven't quite left enough of a highlight there but I can pop that back in afterwards. I'm going to go in with a bit of the dark chrome yellow around here. and under here and I can use little circular motions because you know there's no um, there's no sort of uh, definition or anything in there and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the light cadmium red and bring this around Coming around this top bit of the beak and then let's come around this side It's dark under there actually, so that's just got to neaten that up a little bit. It's quite dark along that outside. There we go. I'm just going to come in with a bit of white from the polychromos and blend this out a little bit. If I was working on a larger Beak. I'd probably come in with a bit of pink white from the Caran d'Ache Luminance range but because I just want to keep this nice and simple I'm just going to come in with the, the white from the Polychromos and just blend that together and then I'm going to start to just come in with this Capitmortem Violet from the Polychromos range and just start to bring in a little bit of this, these darker colours and again if you didn't have this you could just come in with a little bit of brown. I'm just putting a little bit of colour on the end and also where there's a little bit of extra detail and definition. And then I want to come over with this permanent red that we've been using bring this over the top 
and also bring it underneath. It comes all the way under. just put a little bit of shape to this beak so I'm just looking where there's this this red color goes all the way under there I'm gonna come over here with the black again because like I said we've just got to tidy this up a little bit there was some black coming over here and a little bit coming over here as well And then I'm going to come back with this, this red, this permanent red from the luminance and really intensify this side of this face and the top as well, actually, where it comes off. It's beautiful orange uh, red colour. Come down the side down here as well. I'm going to go in with this uh, this yellow colour that we'll be using, this dark uh, chrome yellow, and fill that little bit in. on the top and also come round underneath I don't want to press on too hard because I want to keep a, a nice thin line but I'm all just coming around with this white polychromos to um, blend that around there Okay, so I'm going to come down this way and I'm going to do um, exactly the same as before. First of all, I'm going to get a, a nice base layer into here. And I'm going in with the Light Flesh 10% again. But if you didn't have that, then you could just use your uh, a light yellow or a cream or just something to get a nice bright base layer down underneath. Got a little bit let's just take this little bit of pencil line out on that side and we'll get a bit of base layer on that side we've still got a bit of his body coming around there so I'll just color that bit in we'll bring this light flesh base layer all the way down here coming around in the direction that these feathers are going to go in. I'm going to do the uh, the wing separately, so I won't do that just yet. I'm going to come in with the, uh, the dark cadmium orange and I'm going to come around this body in the direction that the feathers are coming in. So they're sort of coming around I'm going to just add a bit of colour to this bit the other side, not forget this bit the other side of the, the branch and then carry on, carry on around. Again, I want a nice even coverage. So we just got a nice coverage of that and then I'm just going to blend that out with a bit of the brown ochre, the burnt ochre, sorry, the burnt ochre 10%. I'm just going to blend that because there is a tiny little bit of pinky peachiness in this as well as the orange coming through this lovely uh, chest area of this beautiful cardinal. I'm going to go in with the, uh, the light cadmium red. So it's another sort of shade of uh, a slightly darker orange again. And if you don't have this, if you don't have this slightly darker shade, 
just go with another um, sort of layer of the orange, whatever orange you've got, go with another layer of the orange. Let's really get a nice bit of orange coming through this coat before we put the red on top. So I've got a bit of a bit of that in. And then I'm just going to go back in again and, and blend it with the light flesh 10%. But you just want to add a few layers or even just a layer and then blend and then a few more layers and blend. You know, it may just be layer, blend, layer, blend, but blending in between just helps to fill in the tooth of this paper, gives you a lovely smooth surface to work on so that you can start to get detail in builds up that intensity of, of colour. Okay, so I'm coming in with my red. I'm going to come in with my permanent red and I'm going to, first of all, just redefine some of this coming around here. Bringing this, it's this red now that's going to sort of add the feather definition and really sort of shape this body so I want to, again I'm looking at the direction of the feathers now on the reference photograph I mean I always have been I haven't ever not looked at the reference photograph but now I'm looking at it every few seconds to just make sure I'm coming down the right direction with the with the feathers and see that it starts to come down here it's almost got sort of like two sections it's got this section where it's coming over then it's got another section which is going off that way then it starts to come round and under so it starts to come down this way so i can start to shape that now that's like one part of his feathers this bit underneath comes this way i'll do that afterwards but this bit comes comes around And you can see around here that it's almost as if he's got one lot of feathers on top and then he's got some other sort of feathers coming underneath. So I'm just starting to add a little bit of detail. Let's just get a bit of this red in here. And all I can do in there is just sort of come down along the side of the branch really. There's nothing else I can put into there. It's just to show that he comes um, out the other side of that. So let's go back and put a little bit of this feather definition in. And because I want these feathers to look like they're sitting, this bit sitting underneath this, I'm actually sort of pushing up. So I'm going up into the what would be the feathers that are on top. And then I'll come around this again. Darken this up. And this is actually a little bit lighter on top, isn't it? And then let's just have a look at this here. So this comes round as well. So all the time I want to make sure the feathers are coming over and round because his body's coming over and round. So I'm making sure that these feathers are going this way. And then we're going to get a little bit darker as we're bringing this bit down underneath. And then let's just start to bring this off. I've got this little section here, which comes around. I'm gonna do that bit separately because if I start to put a lot of color in there, I'm gonna lose this line here. and I don't wanna lose this line, so I'm gonna deal with that little bit separately, but I can come I can come down this way and bring these feathers around here. Come around and under this wing. I'm 
And that's going to have a bit of shadow in there. And then again, just bring just a little bit of feather definition. So it's backwards and forwards. Bringing this around and under this tummy. I want to come through and blend this again now with a little bit of this orange, this dark cadmium orange. So I'm going to bring a little bit of this orange up onto this top part that we were just talking about. Just a little bit there. I'm going to bring a little bit of the Burnt Ochre 10% into this area to blend this out up here where it's just a little bit more peachy. So I'm just going to blend this, still pressing on lightly. Bring that round and at the same time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cap up Morton Violet and we're going to come around with a little bit of shadow underneath this little bit that was coming around here it sort of comes around here that goes quite dark in there then as it goes down onto this part of the the wing here but that goes quite dark it comes around here and comes up through just a slight suggestion coming up through these this top part of this this wing I'm gonna bring it along here a little bit as well that shapes the top of that wing I'm gonna come back and Lend that out a little bit. And then I want to go back with the light flesh 10%, which is more of a yellowy peach colour. I'm going to come through this area with the Burns Hoka 10% as well. Blend that. And when you look at the cardinal, you sort of think, well, you know, he's mainly red, but actually we've put an awful lot of orange tones and pink tones into this. Peachy tones, really, uh, along with some yellows. I'm going to come back with this red again. Because I've blended the, the colours out, you sometimes um, you can lose a bit of saturation in the colours. They can lighten up so then I want to come back over and just add that intensity with the red again and the more layers you put down like this not only are you filling in the grain and getting that lovely sort of intensity of color and and smoothness but you're also getting rid of any pencil lines that you've got the more that you keep going you're just getting rid of any pencil lines that you don't really uh, want sometimes you might want the pencil lines in you know I want the pencil lines here to create a little bit of uh, definition and um, texture but I don't always want pencil lines in. I'll just bring this around here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to this little bit around here with this Caput Morton Violet and put a little bit, so along underneath this, this wing here that I'm just popping in, I'm going to bring it from the edge of the wing and just bringing that that 
darker pencil round to create the shadow under this wing. And when, I mean, I can put a little bit in there. Once I've got this wing in, I'll be able to see this area in context. So I will put a little bit of it in, but the chances are I may then go back in and, you know, add a bit more once this one's in, this area's in, and I can see it all in context. And also just take a little bit under some of these feathers that we've just put in here. So I'm just going to take a little bit, and if you didn't have this again, you could just put a little bit of brown. Just bring a little bit, I've put a little bit of feather definition in and around here. Just a little bit. And it's really light, it's a really light bit of pencil, but hopefully you can see that it starts to show that there is a section up here now, and then there's another section under here. So I've just put that bit of definition in. So I said I was gonna come into this area underneath here, so let me just, I've already got some base layer in here, let's just get a little bit of base layer around there. Let's come in with the red, the permanent red, and let's put this, this is going this way. So I'm going to bring and I'm going to leave that quite sort of, you can see that I've left the pencil lines in there and I've left that burnt ochre underneath and I'm going to leave that in certainly for the minute because I want it to look a little bit more feather like. I'm going to bring a bit of this cap at Morton Violet and I'm going to bring it round this way to show some feathers coming this way and then I'm also going to come around this way. And it's just showing a bit of sort of uh, difference in direction. Like I say, we can't, we can't get a lot of detail into here and I don't want to because uh, you know, as a Christmas card, you can't, chances are you've got several of these to do. And it could be, you know, a special one, of course. And you could put a little bit more detail into it if you wanted to. But I'm quite happy that this is going to have enough detail so that it's going to look like a nice Christmas card for someone special. And, you know, I'm not going to have to spend days on it. So I'm just putting a suggestion of this these feathers coming out this way. I'm gonna come down onto this top part of the wing. I'm just gonna dab off the edge of this line here and just dab that out. And then I'm gonna come in with a nice bit of the base layer and I'm using the Burnt Ochre 10%. I want that peachiness to come through. It's almost like a pink peach. Down on the tip down here, I'm actually going to go into a, I've got a little bit of a brown ochre 10%. If you didn't have that, you could just use that light flesh or any of the cream colours you've got. But I've just got a little bit of the, uh, the brown ochre 10% to just transition that on the edge down there. On this little bit down here, I've got, I'm using a coral from the, polychromos range but if you've just got a pink and if you've got like a muted pink that's even better sort of like a, a dusky rose type pink that will work at just putting a little bit of pink into this this area down here I'm going to come down here as well with a little bit of uh, Pompeian red Again, this is just like, it's a bit of a, they call it red, but it's quite a pinky red. So I'm just going to come in with a little bit of this. There's no way that I can get all of the detail into here. It's just so small. I just want to bring a little bit of this colour through. So that you can see a little bit of this. A little bit of this colour. And also I'm going to come in with this Pompeian Red up on the top of this wing as well. Come 
come down in the direction. that these feathers are coming down in. And then I'm just gonna blend that out again a little bit, particularly up here on this side with a bit of this burnt ochre 10%. And then on the bottom and on this side, I'm gonna blend it out with a little bit of the warm gray one. just to smooth it out so that I can start to add a little bit of detail. Um, I need to sort of smooth it out and uh, make a nice uh, sort of smooth surface so that I can put the detail in, but I don't want it to get too dark and too heavy too quickly or at all actually. So once I've blended that out, I'm coming in with a little bit of and India Red. This is India Red from the Polychromos range. I'm using the India Red because it has, it, it, they call it red, it has got a red tone, but it's very much got some browns in it. And so I want to bring those uh, browns through into that red. Now, if you've got this, uh, that's great. Otherwise, just go with a little bit of brown. Go with whatever sort of brown you've got, the lightest brown that you've got, rather than a really sort of dark, heavy brown. And I'm just going to put a suggestion of these feathers in. where I can see a little bit of this dark. I can't put all these feathers in just because it's just too small, really. I'm just going to put a, a suggestion. To try and put all the detail with these feathers, it would all start to get a little bit... Um, it would just get too much. And, you know, sometimes uh, less is definitely more when you're... particularly when you're working with a, a small area. So I'm just putting a little bit of the little bit of the detail in, in the shadows, that a suggestion to show that there's a feather uh, there. Little bit of detail coming down here. And just following some of these edges of these feathers around. So I've put some darker bits in and I'm also uh, just putting a little glaze of this colour over the top of this feather area. And then I want to go in with this Caput Morton Violet. So I'm going to bring, there was the darker bit that came off the top there. So I'm going to bring that down and also underneath this top bit of um, sort of feather section that we put in, there is quite a deep bit of shadow. So I'm going to bring this down and just sort of feather the bottom of this section out where it goes quite dark. dark in there as well, doesn't it? Because that's like a, a bit of shadow. And I mean, you know, these, these, um, these feathers are absolutely uh, tiny. This detail is absolutely tiny. I'm just going to put the bit of detail on the side of here again, coming down this side of this feather. We'll go back over that with a nice bright red to brighten that off. But get that uh, that depth in. I want to get that shadow in under there, so it looks like this wing is sat over the top of um, all of the rest of it. 
and we've got this dark bit and then we've got again some shadows that are sort of sitting underneath this is where the feathers are coming down so these are the the darker bits we've got a darker bit down the edge of that wing so these are the darker bits coming down And I'm just looking for areas where there's a slightly darker bit to just represent these feathers. Let's get a darker bit down there. Darker bit in there. I'm just using little lines really to suggest the feathers, just tiny little lines. And then what I will do is around here again, I'm going to blend it again with this brown ochre 10% where it goes quite sort of creamy, sandy coloured. And also there's definitely some grey on the bottom. So I'm going to take some grey down here bring this suggestion round of this, these feathers right down the bottom. And I'm just using the, the warm grey five to just add an extra little bit of depth to this wing where it needs it. And I'm going to blend again with this Pompeian Red. Bring this down. Bring a little bit of this permanent red in as well on this bottom section. And then I'm going to use that burnt ochre 10% again and just bring a little bit of the, uh, the, just bring the two areas together with a little bit of this. Blend it out, add a couple of highlights add a little bit of texture on these feathers and just darkening down areas that I can see might need it a little bit just adding a little bit of darkness under this uh, this extra little bit on the side of this wing here and that's pretty much pretty much it just sort of darken that down in areas I'm just going to do one last little bit on this uh, this wing and where I can see some really dark bits I'm just going to bring a tiny little bit of black and just put a little bit of definition let's put a little bit of definition into into those uh, feathers just on the bottom so I'm going to come back round on this chest again now and now I can see that I can darken this down. So I'm just going to go back in with this permanent red and come round and really make this chest quite intense. And I'm going to take the, the light flesh light flesh 10% that is and just calm down and blend it out and I'm just blending it down and around in the direction that all of those lovely feathers are coming down in 
Okay, so I think that's a good place to leave this part of the tutorial here. So we'll leave it there for now. Thanks very much for drawing along with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks very much. Bye for now.